Okay, so what I want to do is just talk a little bit about the uh, basic science um, biomechanics behind neck stabilization stems and comparing it to a monoblock style stem. I'd um, just like to acknowledge Tim as the co-author on this presentation. So the objectives, what we wanted to do was to compare the st stresses generated in conventional stems compared to neck stabilization stems when we're storing the same head center. Um, look at the strain and stress in the bone, um, and then also consider the effect of varus valgus tilting of both conventional and neck stabilization stems. So within this treaty, uh, use of finite element analysis, um, this just gives an outline of the model setup. Um, we had added in some uh, muscle forces um, coupled with the main load of 5,300 newtons on the stem. Um, we positioned both stems anatomically in the bone, uh, restoring the same head center. So using whatever combinations of the particular stems were available to achieve the same head center. Uh, the bone was made up of uh, two layers, which were functionally graded, um, cortical external, um, varying into a cancellus internal. The components that we used uh, for the analysis, um, for the next stabilization stem, we used a TSI implant, uh, size one, which is the smallest size. Um, they range from one to five. We used a 22 millimeter neck and a plus eight head. Um, for the monoblock stem, we just picked the uh, taper lock stem, which was a size three, high offset with a plus eight millimeter head. Um, both stems have one third uh, plasma coated and proximal body and uncoated distally. Um, this gave us, we used similar boundary conditions then in the analysis for both uh, stems, which was we assumed the proximally coated uh, portion of the stems were rigidly fixed to the bone, and then distally they were unsupported. Uh, the implant materials, the monoblock was pure titanium, um, and the next stabilization stem is titanium stem with a cobalt chrome neck. So looking at the two uh, results of um, the loading that we applied, um, we can, we've seen that the, um, the biomechanical advantage of maintaining the neck um, reduces the stresses in the stem by about 35% compared to a monoblock design. Um, we then went on to look at the effect of varus valgus tilting of the devices in the bone. Um, and comparing here and the red is the taper lock. So we're looking at, this is a five degree varus tilt of the prostheses in the bone. And we've seen a 9% increase with the, and this is stresses in the neck, um, tensile stresses in the neck of the stem, compared to the um, TSI or the neck stabilization device, which we only seen a 4% um, increase in stresses for a similar tilt. And then tilting the stem into valgus was approximately the same um, decrease in stress for both systems. One of the other advantages that um, can be achieved with the neck stabilization stem is that because the neck is restored, if you look at tilting um, both devices about the um, resection line, um, with the neck stabilization stem, the amount of um, change in head center height resulting from tilting the device is less than what you achieve with a monoblock design. Um, the stresses in the distal femur were approximately the same for both systems. Um, the, I guess the explanation of this result is that the um, added biomechanical effects that the neck provides to the next stabilization stem is offset by the long um, stem in the femur, which essentially gave us the same result or, be or bending strength or stiffness in the bone. Um, interestingly, we were looking at um, with a short stem under the same bending, um, where you won't have the, stiff the added stiffness of this femur um, or the stem down the femur. So just to conclude on what we've uh, observed the uh, biomechanical advantage of the next stabilization stem produces lower stresses in the stem compared to the monoblock design. Um, I think this is probably worthwhile given the, the I guess there is some controversy around modularity. Um, there's um, pluses and fav people favoring modularity and people not. 
Um, but we have seen that there is a significant reduction, 35% reduction in the stresses in the, in the stem using the neck, when you preserve the neck. The stresses in the bone, the distal femur, were comparable for both the neck stabilization and the monoblock conventional stem design. And the effects of uh, various tilting on the monoblock design is more than double the effect on the stem stresses as opposed to the neck stabilization design. And that's it.